Haval Jolien got a very, very favorable restyling in 2024 on the territory of Russia. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Dimitri. This is Value Cars Australia. And today I'm back to translating a certain couple of videos for you from some Russian channels that I keep an eye on. And this one is from my favorite automotive journal called Zarulom. Zarulom is translated as behind the wheel, as in behind the steering wheel. They are amazing. They obviously have a lot of Chinese brands on the territory of Russia. They had them before the last couple of years of unfortunate events, global unfortunate events, let's refer to them as such. But also over the past couple of years, Chinese brands obviously have overtaken the market. I mean, they still have their own Lada manufacturing there happening and they are still selling Lada Vesta as number one selling vehicle on the territory of Russia. I don't know exact numbers, but believe it or not, before we keep talking, Haval Jolian, specifically Haval Jolian, is the top top selling foreign brand on the territory of Russia. Last year, believe it or not, brace yourselves, last year they sold 55 and a half thousand units of just Haval Jolian on the territory of Russia. That is in 2023. If the market is performing really well and they have basically a blue ocean to fish out of, I'm using their term, they are basically establishing a manufacturing and assembly plant on the territory of that country. For example, they do that in South Africa. I think it's a safe bet for us to assume that some of it, and maybe if we're lucky, this gorgeous Haval Jolian 2024 restyling version is going to come to Australia. That is why you should keep watching and that is why you should give me a like. So what is different in Haval Jolian 2024? Uh, first of all, the front grill. Kirill is pointing out that the front grill, now the direction of those bars, it changed changed direction yeah well it, it's a subjective kind of look or uh, looks are always very subjective did you prefer the previous one do you prefer this one and also the main thing that kind of stares us in the face and that he points out here is that the biggest feedback that they got from a russian consumer in the russian winters in basically where everything rusts a lot more where everything is subjected to a lot more of the elements you know a lot more of wet a lot more of ice a lot more of salt on the road they put to deal with the snow and all that kind of stuff they took a away all the chrome. Take a look at this. I think optically it looks freaking fantastic in my humble opinion and Kirill points it out yeah that it looks great it looks the part now yeah it looks like what they refer to as not an off-road vehicle but it's a crossover it kind of is an light off-roading capable all-wheel drive vehicle similar to what we got used to seeing in Subarus now I'm an owner of Subaru still enjoy it but this looks more like something that is here to tussle with Subaru a little bit don't you think it looks like cross track maybe Subaru cross track do you know that little car I think it looks a little bit like that and that's fantastic by the way that's a, such a good move by GWM in my humble opinion so we see all these unpainted plastic kind of plastic covers of the wheel arches and I talked to you about me scraping the one of my wheel arches in my Subaru Outback and I was so glad that Subaru actually gave us not just paint not just like metal really but that plastic I think it's fantastic it makes the car immediately more usable in day-to-day -day use as well as this light off-roading whatever have you driving to your country house driving through the bush plus I think these darker black kind of finishes they make the car look beefier they look at they make it look more more macho man kind of stuff and you don't have to be a man to appreciate this I'm sure and yeah I, I do think I do think that it looks it looks the part as he sits inside he says that generally the geometry of the vehicle like everything that that Haval Jolian is known for has not changed obviously it's still the same car that people fell in love with and that they keep buying so nicely at least in in Russia um, but this red leather that apparently now is coming sort of as more a more standard a more prolific color choice in Haval Jolian I am absolutely in love with it set of buttons that are sitting underneath the underneath the screen yeah in Haval Jolian used to be sensor-based buttons with kind of a bit of a backlight yeah and they had very poor visibility you could barely see what those sensors sensors the buttons were saying to you yeah in the broad daylight and here they have been replaced with more physical buttons such a similar thing that I used to have in my Haval H6 and I preferred physical buttons there was a whole set of physical buttons there were a lot of controls basically on the screen however some essentials some essentials were available as those physically pressable clickable buttons now they have them in Haval Jolian which is which is tremendous as well in my humble opinion steering wheel has been changed a tiny bit and now in Haval Jolian before 
you could only adjust it tilt wise but you could not adjust it telescopically and now in this version you can which is another I think rather substantial change yeah but uh, a bunch of other things have not changed other than in my opinion a completely useless thing that GWM now seems to put into tank 500 as well and put it as one of the features and it is the 40 the 64 different colors of ambient lighting adjustable ambient lighting my friends the one that can be either static like green red whatever you want or it can believe it or not be also somewhat animated and kind of just like changing blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on like I'm not even going to comment on this it's a non-feature but I'm mentioning it here for completeness because Kirill mentioned it and maybe to some of you aesthetically inclined people it matters and you would buy a Haval over something else because of this ambient lighting Haval Jolians apparently in Russia at least they are available in 1.5 turbo petrol engine configurations they have two versions there at least in Russia the front wheel drive one and this one particular that he is praising here and that's an all-wheel drive one according to Kirill this particular model specifically is assembled in Tula in Russia on that on that GWM plant that was built there you know for the local production of Chinese vehicles um, and apparently this all-wheel drive version of Haval Jolian is just for Russian market I don't know you correct me if I'm wrong because you know I have I have viewers from all over the world I would be interested if actually they're selling all-wheel drive Haval Jolian where you are and by the way before some of my China based people start commenting I very much always welcome your opinion but in this case let me acknowledge straight away Kirill said it straight away that at least to the information available to him Haval Jolian for some reason didn't sell particularly well in China so in China GWM is no longer selling and no longer manufacturing Haval Jolian but obviously the export markets such as our market here in Australia and Russia and I'm pretty sure South Africa as well are still consuming quite a lot of those Haval Jolians and in my humble opinion for a very damn good reason especially if this updated restyled version is what the people are buying there I would I would honestly consider it running ahead of myself here finally what I was particularly impressed by is that they didn't just restyle it optically visually and kind of remove the chrome basically made the ownership of the vehicle and the look a lot more pleasant for people there in the harsh weather conditions such as in Russia but they've also improved electronics um, Kirill says that the assist the driver assistance systems you know presumably the emergency lane keep assist that I've been bashing a lot while owning my own Haval H6 they have changed it I'll give you a specific example based on what he said so what he said was that now so you know how a lot of I was complaining about the car wrestling you back into the lane when you were trying to change the lanes even when you indicated it was still shaking it was still wrestling me at least my Haval H6 I can only assume that Jolians were doing the same thing well the company is clearly iterating on feedback they clearly have research and development centers which I can only compliment I cannot say the same thing about the speed of development and feedback taking on board by Toyota or by some others but right so here what they've done is one of the major components complaints about Haval Jolian was how the car uh, how the car reacts when you are going into a corner so apparently even when there was completely safe there was no obstacle in front but the car somehow detected a co corner yeah and it started like slamming the brakes automatically creating emergency situations itself because that's what it did okay apparently it's a lot softer now a lot nicer according to Kirill and there is nothing like that and in addition to it apparently there is even a separate menu item menu item about the how the car controls the corners you can just turn it off apparently and say don't worry about the corners worry about the other kind of stuff how awesome is that and that's all there is to say about the restyled Haval Jolian 2024. Is it going to stay in Russia or will this research and development, will this model, because it will get definitely a lot of fans, a lot of people who will receive it with a lot of compliments, I'm sure, will it spill onto other markets such as our backwater planet of Australian market? No, we're not selling as much as they're selling in Russia, but at the same time they can just capitalize on already created technology and findings even if this restyled beautiful arguably beautiful Haval Jolian with all this you know plastic and all that kind of stuff doesn't come to us and we have to continue dealing with chrome yeah but maybe at the very least the software updates the electronic updates iteration on that kind of stuff can come to our shores and GWM and specifically Haval Jolian can be a lot more competitive in the face of other brands including Chinese ones entering our market.
Well, I personally have enjoyed the video by Zarulom very much so and thought that's why I wanted to translate it for you. Even if Haval Jolian 2024, this restyled version is not yet available and who knows if it ever will be available here in Australia. But I thought it would be interesting for us as owners of Chinese brands and I am a very recent owner of Haval as well. It would be interesting to know what else is going on with GWM, not just Cherry and other brands that I've been talking about lately. Let me know if you enjoyed this, my friends. As always, if you are a little bit lazy and just do not want to talk to me in the comments down below, a bit shy, whatever. Look, I'm not going to change your personality, but I'm going to ask you to give me a quick like because that's your main way then as a shy person to tell me that you enjoyed this content and I should do more of this content for you. That's the least you can do for me. But as always, let's remain mutually respectful, even if for some reason you're not a fan of Jolian or Chinese brands, just don't, you know, don't, don't bash them completely because that still remains an off limits thing on my channel. I don't appreciate that kind of attitude. Aside from that, Talk to me in the comments down below. All opinions are welcome. Let's just remain mutually respectful and friendly and enjoy the lovely weather. Happy Easter. That's at least when I'm recording this, but you will get this video about a week later. And I'll talk to you next time about something else, GWM, Cherry and other brands related. Spoiler alert, I'll be translating more videos for you very, very soon because there are a lot of new cool brands, new cool models coming to Australia, to a, a Russian market specifically. And I think that if nothing else, no, not everything might end up here in Australia, but it is a little bit of a precursor, a little bit of a weather maker very often for other brands, for Cherry, for GWM, for other brands to see and predict what might come to our shores sooner rather than later. Thank you very much for watching today. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? And I'll talk to you next time.